Hi, we're back at Mark's Electrical Studio and today we're looking at Samsung's Series 8 UE55KS 8055 inch 4K ultra high definition SUHD TV. Now, 55 inches has grown to be one of the really popular screen sizes and this almost bezel-less design means it's nearly all picture. And it's got a beautifully designed high quality stand, it's got a very thin screen which is flat so it looks great on the wall as well and having a back that looks good too it could even sit in the middle of a room and the one connect mini box helps with that as well to keep the wire clutter down so design wise it's right up there with the best technically it's got a lot of ammunition too it's got 4k for four times the detail of full high definition it's got hdr 1000 for exceptional luminance black levels and colour vibrancy. It's got SUHD quantum dot for crazy levels of, of colour subtlety that give a billion colours plus and all this combines to uh, give you a PQI of 2300 and a picture that will blow your socks off even by last year's standards. And Samsung are really setting the bar high this year as well on movement uh, with a supreme motion rate of 200 so that's as good as you'll see anywhere it's got a 10-bit VA panel and it surprises in all different ways for gamers the input lag that we measured earlier on uh, was 21 milliseconds in game mode and it's around 112 milliseconds in standard mode on all four HDMI inputs there is no 3D support for Samsung's current 2016 TV range. However, the Smart Hub user interface has improved again for 2016 and the Tizen-based system now rivals LG's WebOS and includes cloud gaming for console-less console pleasure. The menu system is simpler as well and it's all run by a quad-core processor. Let's take a look. Okay, the first menu we will look at is the home menu. The first tab on the bottom right is the web browsing menu with options above. Then we have the games menu, then the apps menu, which when you select, you can browse across. This is customizable, so you can add or delete your apps. Next is Mubi, uh, Yup TV, Curzon Home Cinema, YouTube, Amazon Video and Netflix. Uh, Live TV is next, then the search menu, then the source menu and finally the settings menu. Again, just select and then you can choose which one you need to change. The next menu we'll look at is the extra menu which comes up on the right. Uh, then at the bottom is the numerical menu. But we found that the quickest way to find stuff is the speak search. So if I say the word tiger, you will see how fast the results are. So it's slick and it's fun to use. It's the Tizen user interface. 2016 style. Okay, let's have a look at the dimensions and the connectivity. There's an on-stand height of 800 millimeters, the width for the product is 1230 millimeters, and the stand depth is 376 millimeters. Off-stand, the height is 712 millimeters, the width again obviously is 1230, and the depth or the thickness of the TV is a very thin 41 millimeters. Connectivity includes RF in, there are two satellite connections, there's four HDMI's, three USB 2's, there's built-in Wi-Fi, LAN, Bluetooth, common interface, digital audio and X-Link. Summing up, what a great TV this is. Aesthetically, it's beautiful. Uh, Picture-wise, it's right up there with the best. And sound-wise, it's strong too. Okay, there's no 3D and there's one or two connectivity omissions but this is nearly a 10 out of 10 this one and you could have one in your home tomorrow free delivery 
of a two hour time slot from Mark's Electrical and that's next day and weekends included. Just click on the link in the descriptions to order.